Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at the uh, Leaving Cert Construction 21, which is constructing the centroid of a triangle. For construction 21, we're going to construct the centroid of a triangle. So the first thing that you need to know is that the centroid of a triangle is basically its balance point or its center of gravity and it's where the three medians meet. So we basically need to figure out where the medians are and then where they intersect is going to be our centroid point. So what a median basically is, is where we find the midpoint of a line so it's going to be roughly here and we join it to the opposite uh, sides um, vertex. OK, so we're going to basically take our midpoint and we're going to draw a straight line up to point C. And then we might find the midpoint of this line and we'll join it down to point B and they will be the medians. Um, and then where those medians intersect is going to be your centroid. So in order for us to get the midpoint, we're going to find the perpendicular bisector because remember a bisector cuts a line in half. So we're going to stretch our compass to more than halfway. Again, this is a junior circuit construction. You're going to draw yourself an arc at the top and the bottom, or I like to just go and draw uh, a semicircle. And then where they intersect each other, you're going to draw your dots to represent those points and then I'm just going to draw a light line on this because remember this isn't really what we're let's say our end goal this is just helping us to find the midpoint so I'm just going to draw a nice light line down and I found our midpoint it's going to be right here so I'm going to label that point x and what we're going to do straight away then is we're going to take our midpoint and we're going to draw a line from that up to point c okay and that's our first median line OK, so then I'm going to twirl this around and I'm going to go and work out the um, perpendicular bisector of the line AC. So again, I'm going to stretch my compass to more than halfway. I'm going to draw a semicircle and I'm going to go and do the same at point A. And I've got my other semicircle. OK, so then I'm going to draw my two points of intersection. I'm going to and put a dot on them and I'm going to join them together again taking special note of where that midpoint is so this is my midpoint here so I'm going to label that y and I'm going to join y to point b to get my other median line okay so there are the two median lines again I could go and do the same for the other side but I don't need to and where they have intersected this is going to be your centroid, okay? So this point right here is the centroid of your triangle, okay? And the other thing uh, that you need to know about the centroid of a triangle is that it divides each median in the ratio two is to one. So what that means is that this line, so the line XC, is in the ratio two is to one. So this section here would be two and this section here is to one, okay? So in the ratio two is to one. And then if we look at this median line, so the line B, Y, again, it's in the ratio two is to one. So that's an important fact that you need to know about the centroid of a triangle. Thanks for watching today's video. In our video, we looked at construction 21.